Hello there everyone, I'm Crazy Caleb, and today we will be taking a look at Domino. So the first things first is, let's take a look if we happen to tilt this. We see we have uh, several different values. Um, but as you can see here, we have two different values that um, are above and below the lines. So, in this case, we have 1 and a 1, we have a 3 and a 5, we have a 4 and a 1, we have a 6 and a 5. Looking at this one. So what we need to do is figure out what actually we need to do, what function we need to perform. If there are 3 or more ports on the bomb, we add both now. Let's, let's get our edge work. There's only 2 ports, so we will not be doing that. If there are 3 or more batteries on the bomb, Subtract the bottom amount from the top amount. Um, number of batteries, one, two, three. That is true. So let's take a look at this. So subtract the bottom amount from the top amount. So that'll be one minus one is zero. Three minus five is negative two. 4 minus 1 is 3, and 6 minus 5 is 1. And you will keep the negative values, because that's important as well. So finally, we need to figure out which orders the button should be pressed in. If there are more lit than unlit indicators, use ascending order. 1, 2. There are two lit, that is true, there are more lit indicators, so we will use ascending order. And, and another important thing, if two results are the same, press them from left to right. So if I had a zero and I had a zero both here, I would press this one first and then that one. But we don't have it in this case. We don't have it in this case. So we're going to go in ascending order. So starting from the lowest value going up, we're going to make negative two, zero, one, and a three. And that's solve the module. It doesn't let you know when you get a strike until you reach the end. So let's just say if I was clicking like a mad madman. I'm afraid I can't it waits until it. the uh, it waits until the, uh, the entire thing is fully submitted, and then it'll give you a strike. And if I am correct, it will give you a new sequence. So let's look at this again. Same edge work, same values. So we'll be subtracting the bottom and the top. Of and using them in ascending order. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Three, uh, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. 5 minus 4 is 1. And 5 minus 4 is 1. We have two of the same values here. That is important to note. So, if, two, if we have two results which are the same, we will press them from left to right. If we have two negative twos, we cannot press, it would be, uh, it would give us a strike if we were to press this one first, and then this one. We have to press them from left to right. So going in ascending order, negative two, negative two, left, right, and a one, one, which we will press left and then right. And that's a self module. All right, let's finish this bomb up. Six minus six is zero. Four minus three is one. Six minus four is two. And four minus three is one. Going in ascending order, we will press zero. One and a one, so one, one and two. Last one. Three plus one and three plus one is both four. Four, four. Uh, no, excuse me, that's not adding. That's subtracting. Three minus one is two. And three minus one is two. Sorry. Um, one minus two is negative one. 
and 4 minus 2 is 2. So we have three values that are the same, starting in ascending order, we press the negative 1, and then from left to right, we press all of the same value. 1, 2, 3. And just like that, that's a solved module. Thank you guys for tuning in, and as always, stay crazy, stay cool, and don't explode. See you guys.